case briefs and so much more. LS Data's got what you're looking for. In 1985, the United States Court of Appeals for the Fifth Circuit heard United States v. Hernandez, a case focusing on the admissibility of evidence under the federal rules of evidence. Herminio Hernandez had been convicted of cocaine possession and distribution, but his conviction was later overturned due to the use of inadmissible testimony by a DEA special agent. Though the judge allowed the testimony, the court found that it unfairly prejudiced Hernandez's case and misled the jury. Evidence presented during the trial showed that Hernandez had offered to sell a kilo of cocaine to a government informant and DEA agent, but Hernandez denied discussing controlled substances. He was arrested while en route to make a payment for the cocaine. The court held that the prosecutor's use of inadmissible testimony, which identified Hernandez as a drug smuggler, violated the federal rules of evidence, leading to the reversal of his conviction. Hernandez also argued that special parole terms associated with his conviction were unconstitutional, but the court dismissed this claim, citing the inherent power of the court to impose criminal sanctions. As a result, the case was remanded for further proceedings. Case briefs and so much more. LS Data's got what you're looking for. Visit lse.law, elevate your mind. Leave the stress of class.